Good evening everyone and welcome to the lead story with me, Be The One Among Gaming. It is episode 8, uh, so we had a live stream over the weekend. Um, that was for the whole of the January period. Um, lots to unpack, so we'll start off with the screen we're on now. Um, the ins and outs of the window. I made some bold changes, believe me. Uh, Huggins, he went out for 180 grand. That was, you know, a small bill. We brought back Adam Forshaw though. He went to Ulsan in South Korea for 4.7, rising to 5.75. Liam Cooper. Now, at the time of the stream, we wanted to just invest in a few other areas. And Liam Cooper, he was someone I felt that we could just, you know, slightly sacrifice. Lower price than I thought we were going to get for him. 5.75, rising fee again. Bamford, hardly scored a goal all season. 8.5, rising to 10.5 to Seoul. Uh, Oxford have loaned Jordan Stevens for the end of the season. Leco, who we bought for decent money at the start, 4.3 million rising to 5.25. And then Robbie Gotts, 5.75 to Bournemouth. And now, with all of those outs, we already showed you Vuskovic last time, but I'll briefly touch on him again. 2.1 in the team. Now, he's played a few games, uh, two in the league and then another in a cup as well. Uh, he's been solid. You know, nothing stupid. It hasn't dwelt on the ball, which is what I like. Uh, we Our first signing of the window is Marco Gira. He was a left-sided uh, defensive player, Croatian. We got him from Dynamo, and look at him. He looks an absolute beast. 20 years of age. Not the biggest of, of players, but, you know, very tenacious, aggressive, brave, determined, good work rate. And then again, his physicals are really nice. And again, hopefully he can just uh, develop in the next couple of years. Three million absolute steal. To replace Robbie Gotts, we went in with Nico Williams on loan from Liverpool. I was immediately struck by his passing, obviously first touch as well, and hopefully he can get down the line, whip some decent crosses in. 188 as well, six foot two, you know, good player. Uh, we had Moritz Leitner. Uh, again, everything I'd wanted in a playmaker or, you know, sort of creative player in midfield. Passing 16, technique 16, flair 16, vision 16. Good, good all round player. Got him for a cheap fee, 3.7 million. Um, uh, before we go into the last one, Gonzalo Villa, he's coming on loan again, just to add bodies in midfield, which you'll notice why in a moment. Um, 16 passing, 16 flair again. Really good player, gets into the box as well, which I like. Um, and then finally, the jewel in the crown. We needed more you know, firepower up front. He's actually just played only one game because he's been um, away on international duty, the under-23s for Argentina. And he scored two goals on his debut. About £10.5 million for Nicolas Gonzalez from Stuttgart. Absolutely unbelievable talent. Great heading. You know, very good work rate. Uh, can't necessarily finish, but I've always been on for the opinion that, you know, strikers don't necessarily need to have the best finishing. But uh, as you can see, two goals already. And hopefully he can just fire us into the uh, playoff places, which uh, we'll go to now. So Leeds 56 points now, Brentford 63 and Fulham 64. Brentford, who we played to get today, will be a massive game. Cannot lose, really. I mean, if we if we win, we'll close the gap, obviously. If we lose 10 points, I think that's over with 12 games to go, or very close to being. Um, as I say, still quite tight, though. And we've upped our goal difference since last time as well. Plus 18 now, so we're getting up into the pack there. Um, January wasn't the best period, so we started off with a draw against West Brom where we led in the game. Notts County rotated a lot of players, 4-0 uh, in the FA Cup, that's pretty smooth going to be honest. Uh, Carabao Cup semi-final first leg, 1-0 loss, and again we were pretty disappointed with that one. We, we should have come away with a, a result, but 1-0 down. Sheffield Wednesday, 0-0. QPR we lost 1-0, they absolutely destroyed us to be honest. Uh, then we bounce back we changed the tactic a couple of times in January 3-1 win over Millwall lost to Southampton after we had to just change a lot of players around again and then the penalty win after extra time in the Carabao Cup semi-final oh we love a penalty then we played Wigan 2-1 and Nottingham Forest 4-0 as I said we've changed the tactic a couple of times and this is what we're going in with currently so wing backs on attack two ball players defensively and then in midfield, we're trying to pack the bodies in there. So two box-to-box -box midfielders, ball winner on defend, someone just playing in behind advanced playmaker and Helder Costa just sitting off in the shadow striker role at the moment. 
and then one pressing forward. So, as I say, Brentford today, extremely important match, and it looks like we're going to have to make a couple of quick changes here. So that is the team. Gonzalez keeps in place from last time. Hildo Costa, Leitner, Phillips, Jira, Bogush, Alioski comes in, Ben White, Suter, Williams, and then Cassia. Familiar team here for Brentford, 4 5 1. Still no Pontus Janssen, which is interesting. And last time they had about five yellows in the match, so but their front three is very dangerous. We need to be careful. Um, passionately say we could drop out of the playoffs without a win. Okay. Early doors, Brentford. It's Dal's guard on it into Buemo. And it's the worst possible start. Oh boy, we were in great form. First shot though, Brentford. Okay, Ben White. <clears throat> Long putt, is that all you can do? Oh, fuck me. Cassia! Why did he not come out? Oh, that's so, that's so stupid. Con get creative is what I'm going to say to him here. Dal's guard booked. Not really getting on the ball at all, which I don't like. But again, they're very aggressive, Brentford. There might be a chance in a moment. Here we go, Leitner. Whip to the far stick. Oh, it's a poor ball again. And they're going to break on us with Ben Rama, are they? No, Jira. Oh, he gets so lucky. No. Goes wide to Dalsgaard. Whipped in. And Buemo! Oh, my God. We're holding on. We're clinging on. So far, we've been crap. Half time. Let's ruffle a few feathers here. Aggressively say, I expect to see a much better showing. <clears throat> the two booked players are going to come off immediately. Vuskovic and Poveda come in. Uh, let's actually move you there. And then we'll have. Yeah, that's probably better actually. <clears throat> We might make one very small change. Run out defence. Just because they've got booked defenders. So if we might be able to do something against them. Who knows. We've not had a shot on target. Not ideal. And here come Brentford again. Dalsgaard thrown in to Helder Costa. Alioski, you're killing me out here, mate. Truly. And he's offside. Wow. Attacking it goes. Off comes Hilda Costa. Up goes Jean. And as I say, we're going to change it slightly. So we're going to go more to a, a diamond here with two up front. Um, so again, we're going to have Shadow Striker in there in Paveda. Uh, Gonzalez this side. So we're going to have Jean as the advance forward, probably. Advance forward. Come on. Ah, but Brentford have the throw in. Benks them. And again, I don't think they've listened to me at all. Do not think they've listened. Alioski. Is there a ball to Gonzalez? Who plays the ball? It's John! It's John! He's got lucky! He's got lucky. Let's go Pat positive. Ah, oh, he's got lucky. He just hammered it at the keeper. Well, he didn't even hammer it. It was not a great effort. And it smuggled out to him and he's put it in. Jean. Now, Williams. What can you do to Jean again? Get it in the box! Again, deflected. But can we get on it? Right, Vuskovic. Get that ball forward. Suter. Oh, come on. Let's see it. Now, Suter. Into midfield? Nope. Jean tries to get on it. Benson. Decent ball. Ball down the line. No, we've pressed well. Jean. Ah! Oh! They're so calm on the ball, it's unbelievable. And again, the, our left back, Alioski, has been taken. <gasps> oh my god, it's gone right to the back stick and he's not put it in. <sighs> Let off the leads. As I said, I, I would take a point. Is there one last twist in the tail here? No, I mean, they can't be separated. Unlucky boys, what I'm going to say. Not, it's not a terrible result. Still leaves us seven back. 
hopefully we might have some players back actually we've got a couple that we might be able to use next time but yeah I'll see you in a moment so here we are at the second match screen of the day um, I don't really want to change too much I've brought Cobo back in for Alioski here um, do we want to bring no I'm going to put Ben White this side of Suter Leitner and Bogush I've just swapped positions slightly and then Gonzalez we need to give him a chance he scored two and two can he can he do it for us again here? They're playing a very defensive four two three one really. They just basically move them back one line, so they could be tough to break down. We've got a little bit of pace on the break, but it's more going to be about how we can get through. I think assertively say. Um, let's give the fans a performance they're expecting. They don't really react anymore. I pissed them off at the end of January. And it's showing. But two early shots. <clears throat> Can we slow down Benkovic on loan from Leicester? They've got some really good players at the back. Masengo is like a wonder kid. But so far, I mean, apart from that Jira booking, everything's going according to plan here. Five shots to, to nil. As I suspected, it's more going to be about us and how we can get through. Here's Leitner. Can he put a good ball in? He can, but not doesn't quite get through to Phillips. Now Bogush. He'll be Costa. Now Suter. Phillips again. Jira. Bogush again on the ball. Come on. Bogush. He'll be Costa. Great back heel from... Did you see that? That's unreal. Cobo. Whip it in. Jira. Bogush. Leitner. Such great a build up play for nothing. Leitner again, though, from a set piece. It's gone forward! The big money man pays off. I want to run at them again. Nicholas comes up. Stunning header from Nicholas. Now, let's, let's get a second, shall we? Let's not let them back in. It's been a perfect half, really. Apart from the bookings. 40 minutes gone. Eight shots to nil. You're not going to lose a game with those stats. Superb. Right. Calmly say, I'm pleased with how things are going. Let's keep it up. Again, so we're going to bring on uh, Vuskovic at the back. Suter, who's booked. And I think we're going to go Patrick in midfield as the ball winner. As I say, he's, he's a defensive minor play. Not, not his favoured role, but he definitely can play there. Lightner, though. To how has that gone in? It's in off Benko. I don't even know what's happened there, boys. I think it's hit the post, then hit Benkovic, and then gone in. That's my that's my nearest guess. All I know is it's two 0 and I'll praise the boys here. Um, do we want to make one final change? Maybe after this goal. Bogush. Oh yeah. How was he offside? <sighs> Interesting. Okay. Phillips is struggling for fitness. However, we don't really have any proper midfielders. Um, I'm going to put on Edmondson up front for Helda Costa. Move Gonzalez as the shadow striker, left-footed as well, so that could be nice. Edmondson, just a bit more physical. Um, he may be able to hold up the ball a little bit more. We're going to go cautious, and we're going to go a little bit more direct here. Waste time. <clears throat> 10 minutes to play. This will be a vital win. And to be honest, we've completely outclassed Bristol City here. After a pretty poor first game against Brentford, this has definitely turned it around. And I've noticed in recent weeks, a lot of the big clubs, they're starting to drop points. So this could heap more pressure on them at the top. 2-0, very good defensively. I'm very pleased with that. Well done. Great win. We've got Fulham 68 points now. Brentford game in hand, but 64. So if they were to win, obviously it would still be seven points. But a loss, and it's only four. And we are slowly creeping back into the mix. Um, next episode, I've already said it's going to be the Carrow Cup final, so be ready for a lovely soup. Um, I think we're going to go Middlesbrough, then Liverpool. Those are going to be the two games. Middlesbrough, I think, are in the hunt as well. Yeah, they're third. So again, huge game. So Middlesbrough in the league, 
Then the League Cup final against Liverpool, which is going to be almost impossible to win, but we'll, we'll have a go. Um, then after that, we'll decide what to do. But thanks for watching, guys. See you very soon. Bye-bye.